I'm here to talk about overlanding, from how-tos, advice, gear, vehicle builds, and everything in between. Oh hey there, I'm Jeff. Welcome to Oh Hey There with Jeff. Today we have Tony with us from General Tire. This man knows everything there is to know about tires, so much more than I will ever know. And so we're going to have him go over today, uh, what do you look for in a mud train? And then of all the mud trains out there, how do you decide which one to buy? Because there are a lot of options. So Tony, how does a guy walk through that process? Well, the first thing I would want to tell people is don't just buy on the looks of the tread or the tire itself. Mm -hmm. The biggest complaint, number one complaint that I hear from people buying tires, not this one, but the mud train tires on the market, is that they didn't know they were going to be that loud on a, on a road. Sure. So do some research. Make sure you know that the tire is not going to be that loud to start with because almost no one wants to hear that. Beyond that, uh, what you're looking for is a good strong tire because if you're going to take it off-road, you're going to be putting it through more stress than you would a normal tire. Yeah. So the stronger the tire is, the better it is when it comes to a mud train. You also want to make sure that you have a lot of good open void in the shoulder lugs particularly so that it can clear mud if you get into mud and so you can keep your traction going. Yeah. In addition to that, the side of the tire, the off, off uh, shoulder as we call it, these things are protectors and deflectors. Oh. Everything we do is angled to deflect so that if it gets into a stick, stone, mm -hmm. I don't rebar or something, we're trying to knock it away instead of letting it catch and going through the tire. Okay. So that's something you always want to look for in a tire. Sipes in a mud train are not terribly common. Sipes mm -hmm. are these small cuts in the tread itself. Sure. But in particular on the Grabber X3 here, these are full depth, which means ah. that the blocks can actually flex open so you get more traction mm -hmm. from these than you would without or with the shallow sipes that most companies, when they do put them in at all, have in their tires. Mm -hmm. These are full depth and they work all the way through the tread life. Mud train or not, they're gonna be driven on road. And right. And also, this tire is, is really, for what it is, it's excellent in snow. It's not as good as this tire is in snow, but it was never intended to be at that level based on the stud ability and the ec extra siping that you have in this all-terrain. Right. But that's something that if you live in the states where you're gonna see snow, significant snow, and you're gonna be driving through that, this will be a big plus for you. Something that we've experienced with this tire specifically is how sturdy this thing is. Like, these sidewalls are beefy. The, the construction of this tire was based on the previous model, is, is based on the previous model, was the Girl Grabber red letter tire. Sure, yep. That was originally developed to be an off-road race construction. Uh, we just rolled it over because it works so well. We just rolled it over into the street version. And today, General Tire races this tire with off-the-shelf DOT tires. Oh, wow. So it's super strong. Uh, it's our Duragen construction, it's the toughest thing we have, the strongest pieces and parts in, in our toolbox, if you will, is what we call yeah. it, our toolbox of building tires. Uh, we put it all together, so it's, a, it's a, probably the strongest tire on the market. As you said before, like, you're always going to be driving on pavement. How does a guy get to the point where he says, I want a mud train to be my tire? That capability to, to take it anywhere mm -hmm. on a, a given moment of decision sure you know he doesn't have to worry about it he puts that on he's going to be trading off a little bit of noise a little bit of weight fuel mileage right. that sort of thing but he's gaining the capability of going anywhere he wants to go anytime he wants to do it yep yeah and that's a big plus and some of that might depend on where you live what your lifestyle is all that but if you think you need that it's worth having and it'll get you to those places that no one else is going to get to right and that's why you see so many mud train tires on overlanding type vehicles but uh, yeah it's a uh, you know your experience has been that you can take it anywhere and yeah. you have taken it through uh, the Americas yeah and never had a flat so it's yeah. that's something else to consider as well the life of this tread is really good for a mud train especially and you know we've had sticks like three inches into the sidewall on the McKinsey trail thinking that we had a flat and this thing just rolled right out of it was totally fine they're so, tough it's a super duty yeah stout <laughs> tire for sure so there you go guys there's some thoughts on the mud terrains if you feel like you want to get to those extreme places mud train is the thing for you we do love our all trains as well but it's a little different application so those are some things to consider do your research 
Uh, and don't buy just for looks because that's a little silly anyway. Uh, but I think if you, if you go through those steps, you'll end up with the tire that you love. So leave some comments below. Tell me what you guys run. Tell me the problems you've had with tires in the past. And we'll have a conversation about it. Thanks for watching.